Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Janaina Jensen and in this video you will see the step by step of how I made this midi dress. Let's take a closer look. This dress has a bell sleeve, also a high neckline and the lining I will make another video and show you guys because otherwise this, this video will be too long. To make this dress, I use a yard and a half of a stretchy lace fabric. So you don't need any zippers or buttons for this dress. I started by folding the fabric in half, right sides together, and I am using this shirt. And I folded the fabric at the same wide as this top. This short fabric is also stretchy. So I am folding again and I'm going to bring the measurement from my shoulder close to the neck down to my waistline. I will bring that measurement here and I'm cutting a rectangle. This fabric is very slippery so I'm placing some pins here. Next I'm bringing back the same shirt and this time it's folding in half and basically I'm going to trace the bodice of my dress using the same pattern as this shirt. Just trace the same underlined seam. I'm using this chalk to trace all of the seam, the same pattern and you need to keep folding the seam so it's gonna be exactly the same. So you're also going to do the same thing for the shoulder, but you can also bring the measurement from the shoulder. From close to your neck down to the tip of your shoulder. For the back part of the neckline, I will place two fingers and I will mark. That's how much I'm going to cut. For the front neckline, see three fingers, this is all I'm going to cut more and I'm just going to just trace a kind of round shape, very simple. Next I will be cutting the sleeves. I folded this fabric with the same height from my shoulder to my underarm line. Next. I will fold and this should be the measurement from the tip of your shoulder down to your elbow. That is the measurement that we need to have here. Next, I am opening here so we can have two sleeves. I will be using the bodice of the dress that I already cut here. See. Placing here a little diagonal and I'm using some pins so I can hold everything together and I'll be doing the same thing. I'm gonna use my chalk to trace following the same line here, same pattern. This area here just made curvy like so and over here is a circumference of my elbow. Just measure the circumference of your elbow and leave it there and make a line until the underarm area of your sleeve. Next, I will be cutting the bell part of the sleeve and I basically just fold it a piece of fabric and I am using this sleeve that I just cut it 
I am placing here in the diagonal way, like so. And I'm placing some pins, and from here, I'm gonna cut the bell part of the sleeve. See, this is gonna be the height I'm measuring. Mine was four inches. Using a tape, just keep tracing, moving around, and when it's all done, connect the dots and cut it. For this part over here, we're gonna be tracing, but here in the center, I'm gonna mark two centimeters from my sleeve over here, see two centimeters between the bell part to the sleeve base, making kind of round. Next, I am disconnecting here this place so I can make two pieces for each sleeve. And the sleeve piece will look like this. Now, going to the skirt part of the dress. First, how wide? I use a circumference of my hips plus half of the same measurement. For instance, if my hips is 9 centimeters, I add 45 centimeters, and 135 will be the total of this, how wide I want on this piece. Decide how long you want your dress, measuring from your waistline down to the desired length, and bring that measurement here. And this it will be the bottom part of the dress. Now it's time to sew. First, closing the bottom part of the dress. Next, for the gathering part, I'm using long stitches here. This is my sewing machine, and the first thing I do, I go over here, I'm using a straight stitch, and I select the stitch to be very short. This is how I sew knits on my sewing machine. I already used my serger here and I'm just doing a straight stitch. And if you don't have a serger, you can do a zigzag stitch. To make the gathering part, I'm using straight stitch again. However, I am adjusting the stitch to be the widest as I can, a very long stitch. And I'm sewing the waist part of the bottom of the dress. Just leave a long tail from the bobbin thread because you need to pull this, making the gathering. So I'm just pulling the bobbin thread until I have gathered all this area of the fabric. I'm making this gather the same wide as this part so I can connect them both later. And I will make a knot here so I don't lose my gathering. Moving on, the sleeves. Just place a little bell part together and I'm gonna sew a straight stitch here. And I'll adjust again to make my stitch smaller, shorter. Next, close and sew here. The sleeve is ready. Now the shoulders and the sides. Time to attach the sleeves. I'll bring my sleeve. I will match the seams. Place the sleeve inside, matching the seams here, and put in a pin. And I will place pins all the way around. Here I'm moving to the shoulder part. And you can place how many pins you need.
Time to sew all the way around. The sleeve is ready. Now connect the top part of the dress to the bottom. Let's put them right sides together. And I do the same thing basically. I'm matching the seams here. And I will place pins all the way around. Time to sew. I like to keep the gathering part on the top so I can control and fix it so everything is perfect. Sew slowly and take your time, just see, move the gathering around, making sure everything is nicely even. And here is the final result, how it looks like. For the hem of the dress, I basically just cut here and I left this design of the lace. Now I will measure the neckline. I have a two piece of rectangle, it's 12 centimeters almost 5 inches by 10 inches and a half 27 centimeters I will fold this piece and I'm cutting here diagonally I'll just make here a little round The same thing to, to the other side. You can fold them together, just making sure everything matches. Now sew on the sides. Fold it and place some pins. and sew all the way around. To attach this to the dress, I'm matching the seams again, placing some pins on the other side, and basically just keep going, adding some pins and sew all the way around too.
This is the last step that the dress is ready. Now about the lining, I use a spandex fabric. It's a very soft fabric, super stretchy, and also it's not transparent. When the lining video is done, I will link here so you guys can watch it. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you guys enjoy it. See you next time.